Hello everyone, I'm Sharpedo43 once again, and welcome to week one of the Pokemon Global League, season six. So, yeah, and my first opponent for this league is going to be Grizzlock, coach of the Boston Silk Scarves. And holy cranberries, I'm not only kind of nervous because this is actually like my first official draft league, kind of, but also just because I looked at this guy's draft and Holy cranberries, it's actually really ridiculous. Hold on, let me tell him that I sent the challenge because, yeah, oh no, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I was going to tell him, but he already accepted it. But yeah, so Grizzlock. Um, the scary thing about this draft league that I'm participating in right now is that a lot of the people in this league are new to me, like completely new to me. I've never seen them battle before. I've never battled them in my life because obviously these people are mostly known for just battling in draft leagues and whatnot, not like Wi-Fi battles or anything. So at least most of them. But there are a lot of familiar faces in this league as well, so there are some people that I've seen battle but never battled before, so therefore I can't really tell or make the assessment of whether or not they're good or not. But even then, I don't think I'm that good either, honestly. Anyways, um, I'm assuming level 50, but let's let him decide, honestly. Because I honestly don't know if he wants to. So Grizzlock, what do I know about Grizzlock? Um, well, I don't really know much about Grizzlock, honestly. The only thing I know about him is that he's in the XBL with Papacy, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I did look up a little bit in his channel, and um, he's all he was also in the in the Pokemon Global League in previous ugh, previous seasons. So yeah, I guess he wants me to decide. <laughs> he's like, no, 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 you decide. <laughs> well, okay then, but don't blame me if something wrong goes or happens. Whatever. I can't talk. Sorry. But yeah, so there's not going to be any um, draft analysis, unfortunately, for me because I'm very, very new to this stuff. And I feel like draft analysis stuff is for like the more professional people, like the people who have years of experience in the draft format. And I don't think I've had that much experience. So as a result, I can't really do it. Like, I don't feel it's really easy for me to do it, honestly. I need graphics and I need some professional speaking expertise, which I don't think I have. So... I really apologize for that so it would have been nice and I understand why the PGL well not mandatory they encourage it is because I mean it kind of adds to the quality of the Pokemon Global League but like I said I'm, I'm very very new to this and I, I don't feel like I have enough experience to still deliver on that yet and plus I kind of feel like I have to know exactly why I drafted everything and I kind of in all honesty don't know why I drafted some of the stuff I drafted honestly I think I just went more with the I just like this Pokemon so I'm gonna use it kind of um mentality rather than i think this pokemon's good so i'm gonna use it kind of a thing so yeah so yeah but maybe next time i'll try to do it but i kind of need help obviously because i can't do this stuff by myself that sounds kind of weird for me to say but i can't do this stuff by myself in all honesty because yeah stuff happens where's that thing song there it is um but yeah, um, yeah, so, but either way, we're gonna get into the battle. This is week one of season six of the Pokemon Global League. I'm kind of nervous and kind of scared. Oh, good news for me though. Good news for me already. He does not have the Pokemon Aegislash, because yeah, this, this is why I was actually kind of scared of this guy in the first place, because I thought he was gonna bring Aegislash, but thankfully he did not bring it. Sorry if I sound too loud, by the way. I can I also have a hard time adjusting my mic settings. My voice is also not very consistent, so I can be very, very loud or very, very quiet. So I just left it at a fixed um, volume. So I apologize if I sound way too loud. I might get a little too excited as well. But anyways, he has Tentacruel. He has Mind Shell. He has Clefable. The Clefable is probably what I'm afraid of as well. And the Snorlax. The Snorlax is probably the biggest threat on this guy's team, actually. He does have Rotomo. I'm glad I brought Gudra with freaking Sap Zipper. He has Dragonite, which, again, if that thing gets to set up, we're kind of in a pickle. Now, he's thinking about his picks, so that means he's also finding my team a little bit scary. Well, the one thing I'm afraid of, G G um, not Gudra, Clefable, is that it's probably one of those um, Calm Mindsets. Because I think in the draft format, the Calm Mining set is actually a lot more dangerous or more prominent, I think. I don't know. I'm not really familiar with a lot of these things. But let's see, the question is, what do I want to lead with? Oh boy, I actually don't know what I want to lead with. Should I lead with... Oh boy, you know what? I think I'm going to lead with Hitmonchan. Shit. 
Because if he leaves Snorlax and starts spamming curses, we can be in trouble. So we got to go in there. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. And this was not the outfit I wanted to bring. Son of a bitch. Oh, well. Damn it. I, saw, I got so nervous that I completely forgot about that. Damn. Ay, ay, ay. This is a little bit... Oh, well. Okay, so Grizzlock. Good luck. Have fun. We're about to kick some rear ends right here. Starting with Hitmachan. Tell me you led with the right thing. Ooh. I don't know what set this um, Mind Shao is. And I can only hope it's not freaking... Um... Well, I do think it's going to high jump kick me, in all honesty. Because... If I switch into Necrozma, he can just go for U-turn, predicting that switch. Knowing that I don't want to risk um, him enchanting a lot of damage. I do have HP investment, so hopefully, just hopefully, I live a... No, but it's boosted by Reckless, this damn high jump kick. It might actually KO my... What's it called in one shot? Nothing takes the... The Drain Punch very well, other than Clefable, though. But if I hard switch any U-turns... Goes into Clefable on my Necrozma, sets up Calm Minds, that's where we're in trouble. Okay, but I'm gonna try... He could also U-turn into Dragonite, in all honesty. We're gonna try to Drain Punch. In before he just straight up high jump kicks my face right now. In before he does it. And if he goes for high jump kick, the only thing I can do is hope for a miss or that I survive the hit. Because I'm going for Drain Punch, so if he hits and does a lot of damage, might be able to, you know... But this is probably a reckless. Okay, he went for U-turn. He probably thought I was gonna switch out. Cause yeah, look at that. I don't even take that U-turn very well. Damn, I'm shivering right now. I don't even know what the hell I'm shivering right now. I didn't even have coffee this morning, so what the hell's my deal? Either way, he went for U-turn. Who's he gonna want to go into? Definitely the Clefable, in all honesty. Either that or the Tentacle, cause my Hitmonchan can't really touch the Tentacle, and that'll give him the opportunity to set up spikes or toxic spikes. I don't know if it gets regular spikes, but I do know it gets toxic spikes, the tentacle. His Clefable is probably the rock setter, if I had to guess. But if it's a stealth rocking variant, I don't think it's going to be a calm mining variant. And Rose Raid. Who Rose Raid? You're going to put in the finest of work against this team, thankfully. I'm actually kind of sad that I didn't bring the Life Orb variant of Rose Raid. It's because I was afraid of the Aegis Slash, and I kind of wanted this Rose Raid to get some passive recovery, so I got the Black Sledging one instead. So, yeah. Alright, hopefully this game doesn't DC as well, because I've had a couple of DCs in, in Wi-Fi battles already. Yep, there's the Clefable. It does quite an amount, nonetheless. Kinda makes me want to believe that it's maybe. Just maybe. Okay, so... If I hard switch into, what's it called? Right here, right now. You know what? Let's see if he doubles. Th th I'm facing someone who's had years of experience in the draft format, so he can definitely... Okay, yeah, it was a Stealth Rocking variant. That means it's not a Calm Mining variant, which is really, really good for me. Now, I do think the Sludge Bomb on this thing is very, very obvious, so I think I do want to go for the Sleep Powder. Unfortunately, I don't think I have... Oh, yeah, he did not bring Mega Pinsir either, so bringing Hidden Power of freaking Fire on this thing was very, very, very pointless. Okay, so he got his Stealth Rocks up. What do I want to do instead? Do I want to go for... Um, spikes? Two things are, imu are um, immune to Spikes. Actually, even Clefable is immune to Spikes if it's the Magic Card variant. Damn it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. What do I want to do? Do, wanna, do I want to get Spikes? He has Tentacruel, and he can just Rapid Spin, in all honesty. I don't have anything necessarily weak to what's it called? We'll go for... I want to go for the Sleep Powder. But what if he goes back in the Mind Shell? Ah, we'll just go for Spikes, fuck it. He's gonna switch out. Yeah. Rumble. We're gonna rumble. Oh shit, it's this thing. No, 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 no. This thing is actually scary. This thing is the one thing I don't want to have to um, freaking deal with. Because this thing, as soon as this thing gets curses, it's all over for me. I don't want that. I do not want that whatsoever. I think what I'm going to do is go for Sleep Powder. Hopefully it hits. 
and then go for one sludge bomb. If it doesn't wake up, that's good. Hard switch into Zydog. It hits? Okay, thank goodness. Because I don't want this thing setting up anything right now. Although, unfortunately, because I did put it to sleep before I got to do anything, it's going to take one turn of sleep. So if I switch into Zydog right now, it might actually just take a hit. And that's going to be annoying. Okay. This Snorlax is going to definitely be a problem. The question is, do I want to... You know what? I really, really want to go for... Ah, this Zydog is banded. Damn it. I thought it was going to be, um, freaking... It's banded. Shoot. What do I need this thing for? Eh? Mostly for the Tentacruel. Maybe if I can hit the Mineshot with Extreme Speed would be nice as well. But I do have Necrozma, so... Rotom... I'm gonna hard switch into um, Zydog and hopefully it pays off. If this thing wakes up and goes for like the Pulverizing Pancake or some shit, <laughs> that's gonna be ridiculous. I took rocks. He wakes up and goes for the Sleep Talk. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> now, uh, let's see. Let's see how much a Bandit Superpower does. If he actually even anticipates Superpower. He could. In fact, he's probably looking it up right now saying, Does Side Dog get anything for... What's it called? He's probably gonna go back into Clefable, let's be real here. And then probably double back into freaking Snorlax or Mineshow who will outspeed Rose Raid. Probably get me with an Acrobatics and then I lose Rose Raid. Ay ay ay. This is actually kind of rough. It's because I'm, uh, like I said, I'm facing one of the most, one of the most experienced battlers here in the in the draft format. Because not only is, is he a veteran in the PGL, he's also in the XBL with Papacy, who is also very well known for being an experienced draft league battler. So yeah, I don't know how he's doing in the draft league. I just saw his name in the um, in one of the um, thumbnails of the XBL. So yeah, he's thinking about it. He's probably thinking of. Switching into Clefable, anticipating the superpower, if I had to guess. I went for it too quickly, but it's because, like I said, I can't risk this thing just staying in and going for, like, Pulverizing Panking it, and I don't KO it with, um, Thousand Arrows. Stayed in. Superpower. Is this gonna kill it? Damn, even Bandit didn't KO it. Well, rip that. You don't have a Figgy Bear, do you? Good. You do not. That's excellent. But this is gonna do a shit ton of damage. I don't get paralyzed, which is fine with me. Question is... Do I want to stay in and go for the other superpower? It's definitely going to KO it. But the question is, is he going to try to preserve this Snorlax? Or is he going to hard switch into Tentacruel or Clefable? Either way, I... Yeah, yeah, let's just stay in and go for the superpower. Because, what's he going to do? Oh, you know what he can do? I know exactly what he can do here. Yeah, I know exactly what he can do here, and I don't like it one bit. I don't like it one bit, but he could also go for rest, and that's another of my concerns. If I go for superpower and take this thing out, he's gonna go into Dragon Knight, go for Dragon Dances. And, um... <laughs> Necrozma can't really do anything. <gasps> I didn't bring the Stealth Rocking one! Oh shit. Now we're in problems. We are in problems. We are in problems. Oh shit. Okay, so what do I do? We're gonna go for the... Oh, shit, do I want to take this thing out? If I don't KO it, something is gonna take a lot of damage from this thing. I can switch in Dianzi, but if he gets the paralysis with this thing, it's gonna be useless to sin. I think I have to do it, honestly. Yeah, I think I have to go into Dianzi, in all honesty. If he goes for rest... I can probably have time to think about what I want to do, but, mm, yeah, it's because I can't. He's going to send in Dragon Knight. Oh, no, he doubled. Mavis. Oh, fuck. Okay. I was afraid of him just letting this thing die, and then bring back the, um, the, um, like, I was afraid he would let, um, Dragon, um, Snorlax die, and then bring back, um, what's it called? Because he has to know that I'm Bandit, right? Okay, here... 
I, I think the switch in the rose rate is very, very, very obvious. Question is, is he gonna do it? Hmm. I can go for Calm Knight. Nah, it's not worth it, honestly. Let's just go back in the Rose Rage. If he switches into, um... If he switches into, um... Mind Shell in the switch right here, like, if he doubles again and goes into Mind Shell... Um, well... Thankfully, I have some spikes up, so... That's probably the good thing here. Because Mind Shell is not immune to it. And I am particularly afraid of the freaking... What's he gonna go for? Moonblast? In before he goes for Calm Mind. But it did take a round of Stealth Rocks. I mean, Stealth Rocks. Um, it did take a round of um, Spikes. So, yeah. Okay, so... Now that I got this thing um, in a position where he has to switch out, I think the switch is very, very obvious once again. I can go for another layer of, of Toxic Spikes. Um, his Snorlax is not asleep. But he could sack Snorlax, bring in Dragonite, hope, hope for me to miss Sleep Powder, go for Dragon Dance. If I miss, it's all over for me. Like, damn. I'm like, I'm putting a bunch of predicaments here. And the Dragonite, because I did not bring the Stealth Rocking Necrozma, it's gonna be freaking, um, it's gonna have the multi-skill intact, which really, really sucks. But yeah, I think I'll go for Sludge Bomb. Or do I put her to sleep with, um... You know what, I think I'm going to put it to sleep instead. I think that's what I'm going to do. Although, it will be kind of annoying if, um... <laughs> he could stay in, in all honesty, because I, I kind of... No, I switched back. So he's the one that's going to have to switch. Unless he wants to take a sludge bomb. Let's see, what are you going to do, Grizzlock? What are you going to do? I swear, hopefully these... This, ugh. Hopefully this game doesn't disconnect, guys, I swear. Mavis. Okay, what are you gonna do? He's gonna go into Rumble. What's that? Oh, it's this. I can just sludge bomb this thing. I miss. Good. Because honestly, I don't want him to just try to preserve this thing just so I can't put anything else on his team to sleep. But the only downside is that, okay, if I, s if I let this thing die, Rotom's not gonna do shit to my Roserade in all honesty. So can I just take this thing out? Hmm. He'll go into Mind Shell. Try to go for Knockoff or Acrobatics. But we did get the Snorlax out of the way. The Snorlax is actually what I'm very, very grateful is gone right now. Now the other big threat that I need to get rid of the um, out of here right now is the Dragonite. Once I get the Dragonite out of here, sorry if I sounded too loud right there, by the way, we're going to be in a good position. We're going to probably, hell, I can even confidently say that we might even have this battle. Which will be cool, because I like that. Okay, he could go into Dragonite right now, actually. Hope that I miss Sleep Powder again. And then go for Dragon Ants. As long as this Dragonite is not like a Roosting variant that has Dragon Ants, I think we're fine. Yeah, he's going into Drake, um, Jake, <laughs> right now, and, um, aka the Dragonite right now, so... Obviously, I can't switch out even if I wanted to. Because, yeah, I can't. So, what do I want to do? Damn, that feel when I can't even do anything to this thing. Okay, ooh, and my Zydog, I think, is weakened too. Like, it's not going to be able to survive us around a stealth rock, especially with the HP that I gave it. Damn, that's bad. Okay, so I lose Zydog no matter what, unless his Rotom goes for Defog. Okay, I'm going to go for Sleep Powder. Hopefully I don't miss. If it's Scarf, though, that means it won't have Dragon Dance, which will be good for me once again, because... Yeah, if it's Choice. If it's Choice Banded... I don't have to worry about it having Dragon Dance. If it's Choice Scarf, I don't have to worry about taking too much damage on my Pokemon. He can only be the 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 the, 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 the Dragon Dancing variant. And seeing how he just stayed in, yeah, that instantly tells me. The annoying thing about this though is that yeah. Let's see. 
Rosary, um... You have no idea how badly right now, I just want to hard switch into Gudra. And just go for the... Outrage. It's not gonna KO it because of the freaking multi-scale. I don't want to lose Rosary because I kind of need it for the Clefable. It's not gonna be able to do anything to the... Yeah, I kind of need what's it called for the freaking... Damn. This is actually where I'm putting a very, very huge predicament. But you know what? We're gonna have to do it. We have to stay in Sludge Bomb because we need to break that multi scale. I gotta hope to goodness sake. What? Oh shit. I thought it. I thought. It's banded. Okay. Wait a minute. No, it's not. It's not banded. How the hell did that kill? It's not even life orbed. What the fuck? It's not life orbed. And it's not banded because if it if it was banded. Oh no 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 no, you know what? It didn't get to go for a move because I put it to sleep. So this thing is banded. Yeah, it has to be banded. It has to be banded. There's no way it's not banded. Okay. So yeah. Cause yeah, I put it to sleep. And either way, he didn't even get a Dragon Dance up, so I'm actually Gucci. Hmm. Do I want to go for the Calm Mind predicting the switch, or do I want to... He still hasn't gotten rid of my Rock, so, um, Rock Spikes. So I think... I don't really lose much going for the, um, Bone Blast. Yeah, but that E-Speed, though... Or, you know what, maybe I should have gone for the Diamond Storm in all honesty, because, yeah, I kind of... He kind of has to switch if he's banded. He's definitely going into Tentacruel. Damn. I should have I should have went for the Diamond Storm. I don't know why I didn't go for Diamond Storm. That would have been the perfect time for me to go for it, and I didn't go for it. Now I'm in a pickle, because... I don't know if I'll be able to KO it with, um... With what's it called? Yeah, he's thinking about it. Yeah, he's banded. He has to switch out, yeah. But he's going in the tentacle, isn't he? Yeah, fuck. Sorry, my bad, my bad. But it's because, damn, I wanted to go for the Diamond Storm, but... I went for the Moon Blast instead, because I was really concerned about getting all that damage. Going for the Moon Blast. How much will this Moon Blast do? It's probably a specially defensive set. That's quite an amount, but I do not think it's going to KO. He's definitely gonna- oh man. He's definitely gonna go for the rapid spin here. Okay. My Hitman Chan's banded, but if he just goes for the Outrage, I, just, I think I'm just screwed, honestly. Yeah, had I gone for the- what's it called there? That would have been ideal right there, in all honesty. What do I have for this thing? Let's see. Do I want to switch out? It's because I think he's definitely going for the freaking... If I lose Diancy here, I only have Necrozma to fend off against the, the Clefable, which I don't think it's going to be able to. Zydog, I think, is dead already, honestly. Wait, 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 wait. I think I got an idea. I think the Zydog dies to rocks. I'd be surprised if it doesn't. We'll sack Zydog, because I kind of don't want to... Give this guy the opportunity to rapid spin. If it survives, though. Lol. I survived! Wow! I just gave him a free rapid spin here. Or not. But I could have sent this thing in to attack later. Damn! Failure. That is failure right there. Because now what the hell am I going to do this thing? Only thing I can do now is go to a freaking Gudra. Or, you know, I could have also sent in Necrozma and start spamming Calm Minds. I'm an idiot. I swear I'm stupid. I want to go for the Earthquake right here to take this thing out. But I think he's going to anticipate that and go for the... Oh, man. 
I want to go for Outrage, trust me. If he goes for Scald. Um. Uh. Okay, he has two of my mods down. I need to get rid of that Dragonite. I think I should have went for Outrage. Damn it, because, yeah. I think I should have went for Outrage. Because if he goes in the dra um, Dragonite again, <laughs> he's just going to spam Outrage. And I know it's faster because my Gudra doesn't have any speed investment. I need to get rid of this thing too because this thing, my Dianse can't really do anything to it, honestly. I thought my Zydog was going to freaking die to rocks. I, I was surprised it didn't. I know it resists, but I had a lot of HP investment on that thing. So I thought it, because of the massive HP that it has, it'll take more damage from Stealth Rocks. But I don't know, man. I really don't know. He's thinking about it too. So he probably is wondering if I have the Earthquake and I'm trying to go for it right here. If he predicts this... Yeah, no, he doesn't. Okay. Now I have to find out what he's going to want to go for after this, honestly. I go for Earthquake. I think I have Expert Bell on this thing, so I should be able to take it out. Or, you know, not because, you know, how, this is how stupid this damn freaking um, thing is. I think now he's going to want to go for the Rapid Spin, because... Yeah, there's no reason not to. Now the question is, do I go for Outrage here? Predicting him to go into... what's it called? Hmm. UB wannabe. I think I can just... He has Toxic on this thing, so... He can even put my what's it called on a timer. My Hitmonchan can't really do anything to the... Um... I mean, it's kind of good that it's poison, though, because... I'll just go for Outrage, fuck it. I'm gonna go for the Outrage. Because why not? I'm angry. Because he toxic my Gudra. Which is better than getting the Scald Burn in all honesty, but still. Now, if only I had Zydog, because with Zydog I could have had that priority move um, E speed for the Dragonite. If I do happen to freaking need some extra damage just to break the multi skill. Because the thing is that I didn't break the multi skill on this thing. He has Ice Beam on this thing, so it's it's an offensive one. Oh god. He can't freeze me, thankfully. The only problem with going for Outrage is that now I'm just locked into this. But if he goes into Dragon Knight, he does have Mind Shell, which is annoying, actually. He has Mind Shell, which can kind of just high jump kick me to death. He will reveal his move, though, and if he goes for high jump kick, I just go into Necrozma. Go for a Calm Mind. And then from there, I think if I get enough Calm Minds, I might even be able to take down the um, the rest of his team. If his Clefable is unaware, though. He's going into um, Jake. He locks himself into... What, what's he going to go for? Probably E-Speed, if I had to guess. But that means my Diancy comes in again and can redeem itself from earlier. And I know exactly what I'm gonna do here. Okay, he's gonna just e speed me with that choice band. He already knows that I um he already knows that I know that it's banded, so he loses nothing going for it. Okay, so now here. There's a part of me that kinda wishes I had um freaking So many stealth rock like this Diancy has taken only stealth rock damage, has not taken any freaking He's gonna switch out, but into what? Oh, wait a minute. He took out my Gudra. You know what? I might lose Diancy here, actually. Because he's gonna sack what's it called right now. Wait, two of his monster down? What else died? Oh, no, he, oh, his tentacle is done. Oh, okay. I thought he I still had that, but no. He, okay, what's he going to want to switch out is the question. I don't think I lose anything going for Diamond Storm again.
Go for Diamond Storm. Ah, I think he's going in the Mind Shell. Mavis. Oh no, never mind. That's Cl Fable. A A A A A A. It took Hazard's damage. It is cl it is unaware. This thing is dangerous. I got the fence, which is really really good. Okay, I have to kill this thing right now. In all honesty. I have to kill this thing right now. I don't know if it's Spadef invested. It might not be. But I have to hit it with a Moonblast because if he tries to... Um, yeah, if he tries to um, do something crazy, we'd be in a bit of a pickle. Hi. <sighs> I need to... I gotta hope that this Moonblast kills because if it doesn't kill, we're kind of screwed. I think the Dragonite is gonna do us in if... Um, yeah, it's gonna do us in because it hasn't taken any damage yet. I went for Moonblast. Is it gonna kill it? I don't think it's gonna if it's Bedef invested. No, it is. Okay, good. Clefable's gone, but I think this now gives him the opportunity to bring in Rotom. And if that thing is Scar- um... L let's think about this. Okay, we got rid of his Unaware Call Fable. So now my Necrozma, if it sets up enough, depending on which Mon he sends in, I think I have to sack Hitmonchan because I need Diancie. Diancie is the one thing that doesn't allow him to just simply go for a coverage move. Although I could use Hitmonchan to get like the Mac Punch and just freaking bust his face open. I think Mineshot hasn't taken any damage either, in all honesty, so that's also just about as bad. And I'm wondering if his um, Rotom is actually Scarfed or not. He's thinking about it though. But seeing how he's thinking about it tells me that he's probably not even... Um, he's not even... like he probably doesn't have Scarf on any of these ones. I know the Dragonite's banded. I don't know what Rotom and Mineshot are. He could send in Rotom though. He's sending out Jake. Let me be honest with you, I think going for the um... I think going for the Diamond Storm is actually still a good play because if I get the um, the defense boost... If I get plus 4 defense and he goes for Iron Head boosted by Choice Man, I may be able to live it. Maybe not though. There's a part of me that just wants to stay in. But what if he goes for... If he goes for Iron Head, I go into Krozma. Go for a couple Calm Mines. I do have Moonlight. Because I'm debating if I want to actually just let Diancie die here. Because I think he's going for Iron Head right here. You know what? We'll just go, go for Diamond Storm. Don't miss, thank goodness. If I get the defense boost, that'd be nice. If I live the iron head that he's probably going for right now, that'd be nice. Get defense boost. Am I going to live this iron head? Oh, he has earthquake. I'm definitely going to live that. Yeah, I live, that. I live that. And he has to switch out something if he wants to actually try to do something funny. And now Diancy is hands down useless. He's banded on this thing. He's not going to be able to do anything. Okay, damn, this battle is so close. What did I tell you? I told you this was gonna be intense. I'm actually lucky he did not bring Aegislash. If he brought Aegislash, that would have been the whole game from the beginning. Because I don't really have much for that thing. He's gonna switch out. What is he gonna go into? Rotom? Chores. Yeah, he's going into Chores. Excellent. I even got the Spatak drop here. All right, um, are you scarfed? And if you're scarfed, what are you trying to do? This has to be scarfed. It's either that or the um, the mine shell.
if it's a specs one, that's actually the good question. If I play this correctly, I think I win this. Although my concern is if the mineshaft is scarfed, or is this scarfed. I think I have to risk it and see if this thing is not scarfed, because I can't switch out anyways, so yeah. Okay, it's it's scarfed, and it has Volt Switch, so... What's he gonna go into is my question, though. Okay, I still have a chance to win. Yeah, my Dianzy goes down. I couldn't switch anything, honestly, because what if this thing was Specs, I might have had issues. I kind of want to keep my Necrozma healthy, too, because I have Calm Mind on that thing, so... It's not offensive, but... It might be able to take a hit from the Bandit Dragon Knight. So, yeah, he's thinking about it. Rotom is not dead yet, though. It just took a powerful Moon Blast, though. Although, in the range that it's at, though, I should be able to take it out. Man, I really wish I had the stealth rocking one. Cause this one, this song, um, freaking, what's it called? Okay. I can't call mind actually, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't call mind. I cannot call mind because I can't call mind because this thing is probably just gonna go for outrage and then I'm just gonna Damn, I think he has this actually. Yeah, cuz He already knows I'm I think he already knows I'm fucking life will run this thing. I think I have to go in Necrozma. I kinda just have to hope I take the Outrage very well. After Rocks though. I really wanna see how well I can take this, um, what's it called? I think I am max defense on this thing. S summary. Yeah, I'm max defense, but Bandit Outrage though, I think it hurt. Let's see what happens if I go for Moonlight. If I if I take it way worse than I hoped, I think I do have to freaking um. I think I do have to freaking what's it called? If he switches out the holy cranberries. If he switches out. I think he's gonna switch out. I should have probably went for Calm Mind, but again, I couldn't risk him going for the Outrage straight up and me not taking it very well. I need to see how well I can take it. Although this does increase the chance of him getting a crit with Outrage as well. We'll see right now. Damn. <laughs> if he switches out though, he's a f lucky mofo. But I think he has to go for Outrage, because there's really nothing else he can do. If he switches in Rotom and I go for Photon Geyser, he just dies. Locks himself into E speed. Okay. Now, let's see how well I... Okay, now I'm at full HP, so I'm taking it better than I hoped. Okay, so now what I'm going to go for is a Calm Mind. One Calm Mind. Hopefully I don't get credit with Ice Beam. I think now he knows I'm Calm Mind. He just locked himself into... Um... If I had to guess, he's probably gonna try- now that he knows I, I went for- what's it called? He knows I'm gonna, um, go for Calm Mind, he'll probably wanna switch into Rotom. And Volt Switch. 
either Volt Switch or Leaf Storm. Either way, he'd be putting a... No, actually, you know what? I think I have to go for Calm Mind once, then twice. Because I'm going for Calm Mind right now. He sends in Rotom. Yeah, because I think he's going to go into Rotom. I don't think he's going to go into Mind Shadow and all that. Let's see. He's thinking about it. But yeah, the Bandit, um... The Bandit, um... Outrage is what I'm afraid of right now. Hitmonchan cannot deal with, um... It cannot deal with Mind Shadow. Because it's not, it's not taking any damage. Okay. I'm gonna go for one calm mine right here. His Rotom is not specs, obviously. So I don't think I lose much going for another calm mind. I'll be at plus two. Oh. He went for another E-Speed. Okay, okay, okay. Now here's where I want to just go for the Moonlight right now. Here I think I'm safe. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now here I think... Now I can just go for the Moonlight. Two times. I have to go for Moonlight twice. He's hoping for that crit though. Shit. <laughs> for a sec I thought he was going to get it right there. But no. Okay. Let's keep ourselves healthy. There we go. Now I think we can go for the um moon um photon geyser. I think I hope. <laughs> Dream speed. I could be that guy and just stall out his uh, PP stall his um his extreme speeds, but I'm not like that honestly. I think the setup here is enough for me to take this thing out. I just need his um I just need his mind shout out of the way because that's actually what I'm more primarily afraid of honestly. If he goes into Rotom, I know exactly what I have to go for the moonlight because he's probably gonna go for Lee Storm, try to get damage on that, and then try to you know. So Dragonite's out, good. Because that Dragonite was what I was literally afraid of all this entire battle. Imagine if you brought Aegislash. This strategy wouldn't have even worked, I think, honestly. This is getting the setup in his face, whatnot. And in fact, if his Dragonite was actually a Dragon Dancing variant, <laughs> there's no way in hell I would have survived. Damn. So I was lucky this time. That he didn't bring he didn't bring the right stuff. I was super lucky. Will I be fortunate next time I face him? I don't know. But I am glad to have won. Well, I haven't even... The battle's not even over. Look at me. I'm thinking that I won already, even though I, the match isn't even over yet. Dumbass, seriously. What I'm trying to say is that if I do win this battle, I'm lucky. Because he did not bring some of the stuff I expected him to bring, such as Dragon Dancing, Dragon Knight, or Aegislash. Aegislash in any form is actually very, very difficult to deal with. Okay, so he brought this. I'll just go for Proton Geyser. I don't have time to waste. And I don't want this game to DC. Oh. Well then, never mind. That did quite an amount, but um Rotom comes in and it's gonna go down to a Photon Geyser. Photon Geyser does not miss unless he's carrying um White Herb or something. White Herb. Um Bright Powder or freaking um I forgot what was that other one, that Lax Instance I think it was. Alright, so I beat I I did my chores, so I'm Gucci. That's why I'm by myself right now, home alone. Just like in home alone. But um yeah. Now I think his last Pokemon is Mind Shout. Now unless he has something crazy that can just one shot my Necrozma right now, I don't think he wins this honestly. Rock spikes. It's a regenerator, um what's it called? And I do think this thing was choiced as well. Bandit, I don't know. 
But I think I do KO this thing. I do KO this thing. Do people run in the, in the draft format? I don't think they do. Because I think I remember in the UCL, I remember, I think, David running away from the um, from King Nappy when he lost. So... Okay, but he didn't run. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because I'm always I'm always stressing out from people running from me in the battle. Because let me tell you, I don't like when people forfeit on me in battles. I like the match to play out un entirely. So, yeah. Mind Shell's gone, and we win week one of the Pokemon Global League. Now that is amazing. But once again, for the third time in a row, for the third league in a row, I delivered first week. So I was able to deliver good first impressions, basically. That's what I like to see. Save the battle. Thank you. This didn't disconnect this time like the battle with Mamie, but yeah. So, good game, Grizzlog. That was really, really an intense battle. Had I not managed to set up that on um, the Krogma the way I needed to, I would not have won that. And even then, had you brought Aegislash or the freaking Dragon Knight with Dragon Dance, I would have freaking like lost probably even before any of that happened. So, yeah. It's crazy. Anyways, that's week one of the Pokemon Global League. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is actually going to be the other draft league that I'm doing um, alongside the Nacho Gold Digger League. Hopefully, I commit to the Nacho Gold Digger League as well. As much as I like, hopefully, I don't do something dumb that either gets me kicked out or I just end up feeling like not wanting to continue anymore. I'm going to try to do them both. But because of these two draft leagues by uh, alone is one of the biggest reasons I'm not going back to the Talent Squad League. Because remember that I already have other reasons for not wanting to go back to the Talent Squad League. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's going to be good. Thank you much. Uh, thank you all so much for watching week one of the Pokemon Global League. Um, season 6. Our opponent was Grizzlock in the Boston Silk Scarves. The Silmar Sylveons take this, um, this battle this time. 1-0. -oh, no, 3-0, -oh, I think. No, 2-0. -oh, yeah, 2-0. -oh. Um which is fine it's relatively close but um yeah stay um stay tuned for week two whenever that comes uh, th this this um uploading battles and this is going to be a little bit more difficult in all honesty because this one they unlike in the natural gold league in the talent squad league where you can just um well they're both not even content required to begin with but this league because it's a content required league it has a schedule and uploading ba um battles to youtube is one of those um you know, one of those chores you have to do on the aforementioned schedule. I said aforementioned, not aforementioned, whatever the hell that was. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, thank you so much once again for watching week one of, of the Pokemon Global League. A good game once again to Grizzlock. Um, he'll probably kick my ass when if we face each other again. I think he and I are divisional rivals, I don't know. I don't even know how the format of this um, league is. Something that has to do with conferences or something. If someone can elaborate on me on, uh, for that... On, on that, geez, I can't talk, then do let me know in the comments if you guys want to. But for that, after talking way too much, by the way, I'll catch you guys in the next battle, but for now, just uh, take it easy.